Yo, what's going on guys? Dylan Arto here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to mod Dragon Ball Fighters. So, let's get right into it. So once you're on your desktop right here, you want to do something, well, what I like to do is create a shortcut for the folder so I don't have to always go into Steam to access the Dragon Ball Fighters uh, folders. It's right there on my desktop for easy access, right? But then next, what you want to do is go to RED, Binaries, Win64, and then go to this exe file right here. And what you wanna do with that is create a copy of the exe file. Okay, this is important. This name right here is important. This is what you wanna rename it to. If you can see that on your screen, that's what you wanna rename it to. All right, so once you've got that renamed, go ahead and pin it to your taskbar or just somewhere where you know that that's the mod that you're, this is where you're gonna open your mods in, right? So I like to put it in my taskbar for simple access. But once you've done that, go back to RED, go to content, go to the packs folder, and then make a folder for mods. It looks just like this. A little uh, squiggle line and then type mods. This is where all of your mods are gonna be stored. And side note, all of your mods that are gonna be stored have to be stored in individual folders. This is very important because some mods have the exact same name for each file that if you just left it untouched, none of the mods would ever work. And it would be really confusing for the game to load. So just put them in individual folders and it should be fine. But to get a mod, you have to go online to get them. And to do that, go to videogamemods.com slash fighters and the mod should be right there. Go ahead and hit download. Okay, that's weird, that, that shouldn't have happened. But once you've gotten it downloaded, go ahead and extract it to the mods folder and it's pretty simple and straightforward. And then yeah, just put it in a folder. I made this folder myself, just putting Z Android 17. And then yeah, there's the mod right there. Once you've gotten that done, go ahead and load up the modded version for Dragon Ball Fighters. Like I said, mine's pinned to the taskbar. Just as a quick side note before the game loads up, the mods cannot be played online. You cannot play mods online, it won't work. I've tried it. it right when you're in a match and it just throws you out the match entirely so don't try and get into a match with mods it won't work anyways and there you go for this mod specifically by the way i had to hold l1 before selecting a character and then i just hit the x button and it should work right but once you've done that that's all it really needs to, that's all you really need to do that's basically it and that's all there is to it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to hit that like button and to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. I hope to see you guys next time on my next video when I talk about modding the audio for Dragon Ball Fighters. I will make that video a lot sooner than I was supposed to make this one. I'll make it probably sometime this week, so make sure to look forward to that. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.